seeing is believing. I always believed this growing up, that if I could see something in front of my face, interact with it, hear it, then it must be real, right? Well, this train of thought is, might not be able to apply to the next generation growing up. Because the fact is, in this digital age, falsifying information is bigger than ever. In fact, a recent MIT study found that a false story reaches 1,500 people six times quicker on average than a true story does. A new method of falsifying digital media are called deepfakes. And this is what I'm going to discuss today. I'm going to tackle the question of are deepfakes dangerous or are they a powerful tool for creators? So what are deepfakes? Well, deepfakes are a synthetic media in which a person can take an existing image or video and replace it with somebody else's likeness. The term comes from mixing deep learning, which is a type of artificial intelligence and fake together. The process is done by feeding lots of images of a person into an algorithm called GAN. The algorithm uses both spatial and temporal information to learn the mapping from one person to another. So for instance, my eye might be four centimeters wide and they'll map that important information onto the face that I'm going to replace. The more pictures and the more angles of someone's face, the more realistic the deepfake is. And this is why I believe deepfakes are mostly made of famous people as a vast quantity of their pictures are publicly available on the internet. So you might be thinking this kind of tool is really only available to people who can understand the algorithm. However, from a really quick search on the App Store, it took me around three minutes to make this deepfake of me on Billie Eilish's body. Um, this is definitely not the most sophisticated deepfake possible, believe me, um, but it does show how easily these can be made. And this is what worries some people. The term deepfake might not be familiar to you and I wouldn't be surprised if you've never heard of deepfakes ever before. And you might be thinking, well, George, you study computer science. It's not my fault. I've never heard of them. And you'd actually be right. It's not your fault. In fact, many businesses and industries are trying to hide deepfakes from you by banning them from their platforms. In January this year, Facebook announced it will be banning deepfakes from their site. And many other companies followed this lead, such as Twitter. And even California has passed a law, meaning that altered deepfakes videos have been banned from influencing elections. So why have deepfakes been banned from so many platforms and why are they viewed as dangerous? Well, deepfakes are seen as to governments and large businesses as dangerous due to the risk of the correlation with deepfakes and fake news. For example, you could create a deep fake of Mark Zuckerberg saying, I've stolen everybody's data. Or a video of Boris Johnson on the news saying, eating chocolate is against the law. And yes, that was the worst scenario I could think of. Um, in the wrong hands, these videos could cause huge panic to the public and lead people to make rushed decisions without looking into the source of the video. Deepfakes can also be used by criminals to impersonate people in business to get privileged information. In March 2019, the chief of a UK energy firm paid nearly £200,000 into a Hungarian bank account after being phoned by a fraudster who mimicked the German CEO's voice. The employee heard the voice and recognised its slight German accent and instantly thought it was the CEO. For a year, I worked in a company in security, and in my team, we educated people about the recent threats and how to protect against them. Most attacks on big businesses occur initially through some kind of insider threat. By this, I mean an uh, employee making an, in an intentional mistake. These attacks can come through phishing emails, downloading unauthorized software, which could have bugs hidden in them, and other things like that. 
humans have an innate instinct to trust and try and help other people. Therefore, when they hear a voice that's familiar or see a face that they recognize, we instantly lower our guards and trust the information we're receiving. That's why deepfakes are so efficient in tricking people as they play on human nature and exploit our natural instincts. And this is why deepfakes can be seen as so dangerous. However, it's important not just to look at deepfakes as dangerous. I believe that this kind of image manipulation can be used as a powerful tool for creators. And I'm gonna talk about some amazing things that deepfakes have managed to do and why it's important to encourage this creativity and not stifle it. Well, deepfakes give creatives the opportunity to reach a much larger audience with their art and message. Deepfakes can reduce language barriers for creatives and artists. Because deepfakes can mimic voices and alter videos easily, it can be used in videos to make more realistic dubbing for different languages. Not only can the translated voices be more like the original actors' voices, but it can also alter the lip movement. So the actor's voice looks more like the translated dialogue. This would be revolutionary for the TV and movie industry, as it means that they can reach a much lord larger audience. An example of when this technique was used is by a company called Synesthesia. Synesthesia used deepfake tech to create an informative advert where David Beckham was talking about malaria in nine different languages. This advert was able to reach nine times the audience that it would before being altered and also communicated a very important message. Imagine having your favorite celebrity being able to talk to you in your native language. It would be such a great experience and would make these kind of adverts and movies more personal. This tool can help smaller businesses and creatives reach a more global audience easily without having to alter their original creative vision. So not having large subtitles blocking the screen or having mis mismatched dubbing altering the video. It can also help reduce costs as it means that the team won't have to spend money on reshooting the video to replace an actor with a different foreign speaker. Deepfakes can also help us engage with our history in a more creative and realistic way. Imagine going to a museum and being able to talk to Albert Einstein and learn about the theory of relativity from him. Well, this kind of experience is possible with deepfake tools. This was done in a museum in Florida where they created a deepfake of Salvador Dali to greet the visitors when they entered the museum. It had 125 different interactive videos with 19,512 combinations. So every visitor could go home with their own unique experience when talking to Dali. This application of deepfakes could really help more people get more interested in art and history and education because they're able to physically interact with the past and for a few minutes experience immortality. Maybe instead of so many rebooted films which are happening these days, we can watch our dream cast on our favorite movies just by deepfakes. It's easy to see a new and up and coming piece of highly sophisticated technology as dangerous as it's the fear of the unknown and the inability to truly understand how sophisticated these can get. And that is very scary. But we have to remember that this type of imitation and manipulation of real life has always been a part of art. This can be seen through lip syncing, celebrity impressions, makeup artists, and most notably through the use of masks. In ancient Greece, masks were used during theater performances to communicate strong emotions and let actors play multiple parts in one play. In Italy, masks were used in carnivals to hide their identity and were seen as a glamorous display of the mask maker's ability. Masks are also used in popular music such as Daft Punk and Slipknot, allowing the artist to focus purely on their music and not the performer. We're now in a digital age where online behaviors affect our everyday life. 
So deep fakes can be seen as the masks of our generation. So the future of deep fakes is uncertain. But this progression in sophisticated technology really goes to show how innovative creativity can be. From a simple face swapping algorithm, we have been able to create unparalleled experiences, such as talking to history, reimagining popular videos, and being able to spread a message to the whole world. After this talk, if you guys go and look at deepfakes, my estimate is that 90% of the information you'll read about them will be negative. So I urge you to go and look at more than just surface level and try and learn about how deep fakes can be applied positively to everyday life. I hope now that you have a little bit more information about deep fakes and that you'll be able to do your own investigations and decide are they funny or threatening? Thank you very much. <laughs>